this is a generator that can generate a lot of strange sounds. Um, it's the result from an experiment in which I wanted to try to put in an oscillator circuit in the primary coil a DC current so that the inductivity uh, changed and the frequency changed. I read uh, from this effect in the publication but um, it was not very successful to uh, this experiment but finally I ended up with this strange sound generator. It can uh, generate all kinds of sounds, especially sounds uh, like birds, when you touch, for instance, this potentiometer with one hand. And also these sounds can be generated when you touch with one finger this uh, connection and the other hand this connection. Or connect a potentiometer here from 1 mega ohm up to 10 mega ohms. This is how the circuit looks like. This is a wall transformer. This is the primary side of the transformer. Normally this is connected to the 230 volts. And here is the secondary side. Normally this deliver delivers approximately 6 volts or 10 volts. The DC resistance from this transformer here is approximately 400 ohms. And here the DC resistance is approximately 10 ohms or 4 ohms or 20 ohms, it doesn't matter much. And the signal is transformed from, the, from one side of the transformer, the secondary, to the uh, primary by means of this capacitor here. This capacitor. You can see it in the circuit. Here is the, the wall transformer. This capacitor transports the signal and changes the phase so that the whole circuit starts to oscillate. It changes the phase and goes to the uh, base from the Darlington. The Darlington amplifies extremely and that's one of the properties from a Darlington. And this was already explained in earlier videos. We can set the working point and change the working point with this potentiometer. Of course, the whole circuit changes and the frequency changes, etc. Uh, an important thing is that when it doesn't want to oscillate, reverse A and B and or C and D. So one of these connections one of these connections must be reversed and you have to search for the right connection where the whole circuit starts to oscillate. It could be that this must be reversed but also this and also um, it could be that the, the back coupling signal must be taken from this part of the transformer. I found that when I connected this potentiometer here, 500k, that there was a broad uh, frequency band on which the generator made sounds. And now I want to demonstrate some sounds. This is the high sound here. Change the working point. I change the uh, parallel uh, potentiometer to the secondary coil. Change the voltage from the circuit. Here you see a fine sine wave, a good sine wave. This only um, applies to one frequency. Change the voltage again. And it's a little bit loud. Now I touch the 500k potentiometer with my hand. I have to say, uh, 
I find on my finger a small high voltage. But of course um, you can uh, diminish that with a resistor or so. And the reason is of course that uh, we can expect here uh, a little bit a higher voltage. Because the whole circuit oscillates. So uh, with this uh, circuit is possible to create all kinds of sounds. Of course it has to be developed further. It's only an experiment. But uh, I think it's a good experiment to uh, find how such an oscillator works and uh, develop it to a new circuit. Here you can change the, uh, the supply voltage. This is a variable voltage divider here, a potentiometer. And when I move the wiper up, the voltage goes up.